everybody. Just want to get a really quick video in because uh, obviously it's about to rain. It's actually already starting right now, but I'm in a relatively sheltered place where I can uh, do this without worrying about damage to my phone. Um, went to the Pepper Palace yesterday in Frankenmuth. It is a massive hot sauce emporium. Had a bigger collection even than the uh, uh, Tucson Tamale in Tucson. Um, bought a bunch of stuff to, for my son's YouTube channel for his different hot, suit, hot food challenges, but I also picked up a few things that I was just fascinated to, with and eager to try, and one of them was seven. All right. Seven hot sauce made with seven pot chocolate dugla. Um, now, uh, seven pot douglas uh, were once considered the third hottest pepper in the world after the Carolina Reaper and the Trinidad Scorpion. So, coming in at about roughly 1.5 million Scoville heat units, this is a serious pepper. I've never tried any product that used seven pot dougla, let alone seven pot chocolate dougla. And, um, you know, if chocolate primatales and uh, chocolate habaneros are any indication, the chocolate peppers tend to be on the hotter end of the, the scale when that's the, uh, when that's the variation of the pepper. Um, yeah, so it's not a dessert sauce. I did get a chocolate habanero one that I believe is a dessert sauce because one of the primary ingredients was brown sugar, but uh, this is different. Um, so we have um, the ingredients in this one are water, distilled vinegar, seven pot chocolate dougla pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and xanthan gum. Okay, so we have some pretty standard hot sauce ingredients in this. Uh, I love that uh, that dark, almost rusty red or like burgundy color of that sauce. That is just a beautiful looking sauce. I haven't even tried it yet and I'm already thinking about how I want to use it. There's a blue jay. Yeah, um... Alright, I guess I'm opening this with my teeth. I don't know. It's distasteful, but if I don't do that, then you're going to have to sit here watching me for half a minute open this bottle. And you probably don't want to do that. Okay. By the way, Pepper Palace is not something that only exists in uh, in Michigan or in Fra in, in, even in Frankenmuth. There are other locations in Michigan, but there are actually locations all over the country. I found out when I did my research that there's one in uh, Tulalip, Washington. Uh, I wish it had been Puyallup because that's just right by Tacoma. Tulalip is north of Seattle, so it would probably take me about two and a half hours to get up there. Um, but next time I go up to Bellingham to go whale watching, uh, perhaps I'll make a stop on the way. Alright, we better do this quick because the rain's starting to come out faster. Or dump, coming down heavier and faster. Alright. Now... I got a pretty good uh, spoonful here. This was not, so the hottest hottest sauces at Pepper Palace are uh, labeled wild. This one was labeled extra hot. So this should, this should be hot, but I don't think it'll burn me too badly. Um, oh, and a little factoid about uh, seven pot chocolate douglas. Made with seven pot chili peppers, named because one pepper is claimed to be hot enough to flavor seven pots of stew. This sauce offers shocking heat followed by a fruity and slightly nutty flavor. All right, here we go. Hmm. Wow. That's an instant fiery burn. Yeah, that's Reaper-like in its burn. Damn, that's not, ooh, that's not like a ghost pepper at all. <coughs> that's not often that a, hot sauce automatically gives me the hiccup. It's usually um, fresh peppers that do that. Holy crap. That's pretty hot. It does taste delici delicious. I get what they're saying about the nuttiness. Dang. That's a hot pepper. That's a good sauce. Wow. Yeah, I should have washed it. It's kind of grainy. There's a graininess to the sauce that I like. That contributes to the nuttiness too. I gotta move this back. I'm gonna destroy my phone. I gotta wrap this up in a minute. The rain's really starting to come down. That's a damn good sauce. And a damn hot pepper. I like that a lot. I'll have to have Julian try this one. But yeah, there's like a 
I don't know where it's coming from, but there's kind of a graininess to the texture that I haven't experienced with another hot sauce. Uh, uh, that's a good burn. That's like Reaper level burn. I've had scorpion sauces that weren't that hot, and maybe it's just like the amount of pepper mash that's in that sauce is what drives the heat over the top. That's hot though. Uh, wow. Dying down now. Yeah, that really hit me hard. That's quite, that's no joke. That's quite a burn. All right, well, heat level, that's a six for heat. That's pretty hot. Flavor level, I like it. Um, I need to try it again, maybe in a smaller amount so that I can evaluate flavor a little better. Tastes is good. Probably 6.5 for now, but it's probably going to be bumped up to a 7 once I uh, manage the burn with the dose that I take. But yeah, good sauce. Uh, hit number one for uh, my Pepper Palace purchases. 7 Pot Dubla, 7 Sauce.